Hey everybody, welcome in to Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about the final Group A matchup uh, for the Olympics in men's basketball in Group A. Uh, final set of games, uh, I should say, because there's going to be Canada and Spain after this one. And both Greece and Australia, the teams we'll be talking about, will have their maple leaf pom-poms on because uh, they'll be looking to qualify and rooting for Canada. So Greece uh, at this point needs to win this game against Australia. Australia could still qualify as a top third place team. This is the third of three group games uh, in Group A, and it'll be played at 7 a.m. Eastern time here in the United States from Pierre Moroy Stadium in Lille. Uh, and again, the goal is to get to the knockout stages which will all be played in Paris. Greece has lost its first two games, 86-79 to Canada, 84-77 to Spain, uh, but still have aspirations to get into the knockout stages. They just need to beat the Aussies in this one, uh, and they need to do so decisively, and, uh, and they'll be in. And it would definitely help if Spain is defeated by Canada, which has won their first two games, which is why both... Uh, Greece and Australia want the Canadians to win here. Canada defeated Australia 93-83 in their most recent matchup. It was a competitive game. Canada outscored the Aussies 21-13 in the fourth quarter, overcoming 16 points and 12 rebounds from Jock Landale and 19.6 rebounds and seven assists from Josh Giddy. Uh, Patty Mills, who uh, plays a huge role for the Aussies and has – uh, over the last few Olympic cycles, shot just two for 10 from the field, one for five from three-point range. So he's going to be looking to get back on track. Obviously, if we're talking Greek basketball, we're talking Giannis Antetokounmpo put the Greeks on his back to get them to the Olympics. And now we'll do so uh, one more time, and we'll see if he's successful as he tries to get them to the knockout stage. Giannis had 27 points and 11 rebounds uh, as Greece fell just short against Spain. Again, they lost by seven, and uh, the, the big Achilles heel for the Greeks was a 28-13 to 13 second quarter. Billy Spanoulis, legendary player, is now the head coach of the Greek system, and he's looking for somebody to step up and give Giannis some help. Um, you have Nick, Nick Calathis is one of the better point guards in all of Europe. He uh, played uh, his high school basketball just outside of Orlando and Castleberry, played at the University of Florida, had a cup of coffee in the NBA, and he's been – legendary status as far as a playmaker in Europe over the last decade. So he will certainly uh, set up teammates, but he's not much of a scorer. Uh, you've got uh, also one of the top players in Europe, a veteran, probably in his last Olympics in Costas Papanikolou. Uh, you know, Kalathis is 35 at this point. So we will see desperation from the Greeks as they look to advance here. Georges Papagiannis, uh, a lottery pick, the highest drafted Greek player ever at, uh, at one point, 13th uh, overall uh, draft pick back in the, the mid-2010s. Uh, did not work out in the NBA, but he needs to give Greece more here, especially against Landale. Uh, you've got a, a, a shooter that really did step up to, uh, to give Giannis some help, and he'll need to do so again in Vasis Stoliopoulos. He hit four threes the other day and uh, is the designated shooter off the bench. So Greece is going to really need to have their A game in this matchup against the Aussies. And Australia will look, uh, probably Dwap Reith, who played for the Bortland Trailblazers last year, will we'll get more time in this one, add more size and more rim protection. Uh, that's one thing that the, the uh, Aussies can do is protect the rim. They've got a, a couple of big centers in addition to Landale. They've obviously got uh, D D Dyson Daniels, who's one of the better defenders already. Despite his age in the NBA, a, a, a standout one-on-one -on -one defender, I think he'll see some time on Giannis. Uh, they've got Josh Green from the Dallas Mavericks who will be in the mix. Uh, and, and if Patty Mills' shot isn't working, I think we'll see more of Dante Exum who uh, came into the Olympics with some injury concerns but really comes off a strong game in the loss to Canada, shooting six for nine. So the Aussies are by far the deeper here team here. They're favored by six. Minus 250 on the money line. The Greeks are plus 210. The total is 168 and a half. I'm going to tell you how to bet this game. Again, you can enjoy your coffee with this one. 7.30 a.m. start. I don't know if I said 7 or 7.30 earlier in the video. It's a 7.30 a.m. start from Lille. 
I'm going to take the points with the Greeks. I like the desperation factor. They're the team that needs to win. You're giving me six. They've been able to stay with uh, both Canada and Spain in this tournament. Uh, and I don't see Giannis getting in foul trouble, which means he'll be in there for the duration. I don't like the Giannis Antetokounmpo points uh, prop that DraftKings has out there. It's at 28 and a half. That's a little steep, especially since we're riding the under here. I think in a game like this one, uh, the Aussies just need to not get blown out, really, the, the way that the point differential uh, factor works in their favor. Uh, so I think they'll try to limit possessions. I like the under on 168 and a half points. Uh, from that regard, then you've got the Giannis player combo, which is what I really like the most. If you're going to bet Giannis as opposed to going with the 28 and a half point uh, prop, go 41 and a half. Giannis attends a couple points, rebounds and assists to the over. Josh Giddy's points, rebounds and assists is 31 and a half. Uh, I like that as well. He had 19, six and seven in a, in a matchup uh, the other day against Canada. Um, you know, if, if you're going to bet that, I would say that that number is based on those numbers. Uh, so if Giddy is also able to avoid foul trouble, you know, that that's attainable. But again, if they limit possessions, then that's, that might be something you stay, stay away from. And Casas Papa Nicolau, his points total is something interesting, considering that he is uh, truly the most reliable uh, of the Greek secondary scorers, even though Toliopoulos is going to be the X factor here because of his three point shooting. But uh, uh, pa uh, Papa, Papa Giannis is at six and a half and uh, Papa Nicolo is at 12 and a half. So I would I would ride with him on the over. I think he gives uh, Atsenta Kumpo a, uh, a boost here. And again, we're getting six points. We're going to ride the Greeks. I don't know if they'll pick up the win, but if you think they will, and certainly they'll have the best player on the floor, as you know, uh, it's plus 210 on the money line for them. Uh, the the uh, Greeks also have Thomas Walkop, a uh, naturalized American from Texas. He's one of their guards. Uh, so they do have players on this roster that will be able to compete with the Aussies. You know, if you turn on this TV, you'll probably say, oh, I've, I've heard of Giannis. And obviously, if you know the international game, you'll know Kalathis and, and some other Greek players. But certainly a bunch of NBA guys on the Aussie roster. Patty Mills, we'll see if he figures it out. But uh, I think Greek uh, Greece has a, a shot to win this one outright. I'm not sure they'll be able to post the double digit win that they need to overcome Australia as the number three team in this group which basically means that they'll be rooting extra hard for Canada to uh, beat Spain decisively in the matchup that follows this one. So Greece plus the points, plus the six against Australia. If you want to sprinkle a little bit on the money line, wouldn't hate it. Go with the under on 168 and a half points and the over on Giannis Attentacumpo's uh, points, rebounds and assists at 41 and a half. And uh, Costas Papaniconau, over, I believe, 11 and a half, 12 and a half points, depending on where you shop. Smash that like button for me and make sure you are uh, enjoying all of our free pick videos here. Olympics, soccer, uh, ML, uh, MLS, uh, when it comes back. Same thing with the WNBA. Both of those leagues are on hiatus. Uh, we've also got Major League Baseball in full swing. And obviously, the NFL and college football on the horizon. So be sure you're subscribed. Be sure you're liking all of our videos so we know we're appreciated and we can keep bringing these to you free of charge. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero. Check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM for more free plays and pick package information so we can continue to make money together. Enjoy the Olympics. Remember, it's an early morning start on Friday morning, 7.30 a.m. Enjoy the game and enjoy your weekend. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.